First, a mother found passed out drunk on the freeway with her two children in the car. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. One of those children just five months old. Oh, Devin, deputies say both were filthy and hungry when they found the car just stopped in the middle of a freeway ramp. Our Sean Lay joins us now. Sean, the quick actions of the deputies made sure that things didn't get worse. You're right about that. What a dangerous situation we're talking about, Carmen. A mom, young mom, passed out in the car. The car is on a very busy ramp. When deputies get there, they see two young children in the car, and suddenly they have to take care of the mom and then start changing diapers and feeding those hungry babies. When I got up to the vehicle, the driver, the mother, was like sitting in the seat but was passed out into the passenger seat. That passed out driver deputy say was Tatum Banazinga, 31 years old from West Michigan. On her way to visit her family in Pinckney, deputies say she was more than twice the limit over the state's super drunk law, allegedly drinking steel reserve malt liquor along the way until she passed out. The car coming to a stop in the middle of the ramp on M59 from I-96 at noon Tuesday. When they look in the back seat, uh, my deputies discovered that there were a uh, two children in the vehicle, um, a five-month-old female and a three-year-old uh, young boy. Vanazinka's babies were with her. Deputies say both were soiled and hungry. They also say she could have killed someone on the road or killed herself and her kids. Yeah, very dangerous. Uh, disturbing situation. Deputies had to wake Benazinga up to arrest her. Those same deputies then knew that her children needed help. One deputy bringing the children back to the sheriff's office while another went to the store. That's where Deputy Tangeries and some of the other uh, staff within the sheriff's department um, helped out by you know, changing diapers. They went up and got food for the, uh, the kids. It was difficult to see, but obviously they didn't really know what was going on at the time. Um, our only concern was to continue to occupy their time to keep, try to keep them as happy as we possibly could and until we could make further arrangements. Those deputies telling me this is a very sad situation, but they were happy to be able to jump in, go to the store, get diapers, formula, food, even some toys for those kids to keep them happy while mom was being booked on uh, drunk driving charges and child endangerment charges. The kids now in protective custody, Carmen. All right, Sean, did the mother cooperate with the investigation? You know, investigators say no, she did not. They wanted their, her to take a field sobriety test. She mm -hmm. refused, so she was arrested. She is out on bond, but they tell me she was saying she was concerned about the kids. Of course. Our Sean Lay reporting for us live.